the government's top ethics watchdog is calling it quits after repeated clashes with the Trump administration. Walter Schaub is stepping down as director of the Office of Government Ethics. He made the announcement yesterday in a letter to President Trump. Schaub writes that government officials must, quote, place loyalty to the Constitution, laws and ethical principles above private gain. Juliana Goldman spoke to Schaub just after his resignation. She is in Washington. Juliana, good morning. Good morning. Walter Schaub was nominated by President Obama and his five-year tenure was set to end in January. And as he very publicly took on the new president, who is also his new boss, he wasn't sure if ultimately he'd be fired. Being able to say we're not criminals isn't enough for government officials. Walter Schaub is cutting short his tenure as the top ethics watchdog because he says he can't compel the current White House to go beyond the bare minimum of ethical standards. My current experience with this administration has taught me that the ethics program needs to be stronger than it is. He told us that unless President Trump eliminates all financial ties to his businesses, the American people can never be certain his policy decisions are based on what's best for the country. Do you think the president and his family are using the office to enrich themselves? I can't know what their intention is. I know that the effect is that there's an appearance that the businesses are profiting from his occupying the presidency. Schaub cited the president's frequent visits to his own properties, like the Trump International Hotel just blocks from the White House. Why is it problematic for the president to visit his properties? The definition of corruption that's accepted internationally by most people who study the issue is abuse of entrusted authority. And so you don't want to be appearing to abuse your authority by having, um, by creating opportunities to advertise your own financial interests. He told us he attempted to raise the issue with Mr. Trump's legal team in late November before the inauguration. The counsel to the president shouted us down when we tried to communicate that message. My two sons, who are right here, are going to be running the company. Again, I don't have to do this. As Mr. Trump noted in January, there are no conflict of interest laws for a president. But his attorney gave another reason why he wasn't going to sell off his assets. He'd lose money. I have no sympathy for that. I mean, he's in a position where he's going to have to send young men and women to die in combat, potentially, or risk their lives, at least. So, no, it's not too much to ask for somebody to incur a bit of a financial loss if they have to sell things off. In a statement to CBS News, the White House said the president works closely with outside counsel to ensure that there are no conflicts of interest.